everyone. Today I'm going to talk. I'm going to do another denim review, and uh, I'm going to talk about this pair of uh, Momotaros. I got these in February of 2017. This is a really noteworthy pair of denims because uh, these are the heaviest pair of denims that I have. These are actually 18 ounces. Really hard to break in. In fact, I wouldn't say that they were actually comfortable until probably probably the hundredth time that I wore them. <laughs> to be honest, in fact, there was one month where I wore them every single day just just because I was getting sick of how long it was taking to break these things in. So anyways, I'll talk a little bit about how I got these. I had decided that I wanted a pair of Momotaros with the battle stripes on there just because I felt that that's a pretty iconic look. And so what ended up happening is I ordered a pair of these from a shop in New York City called Blue and Green Soho. I sized myself wrong, I think in a 33, and they were way too tight. And uh, so I needed to send those back for a 34. So what happened was I sent them back and well, they didn't have a 34. So what happened was they just had to refund me because they weren't sure of when they were gonna get another order in, you know, another batch in of these Momotaros. So they just refunded me. I, I searched some more and I found a shop in California called the Blue Owl Denim Shop, I believe it's called. They were real, they were real cool. They were real responsive. I corresponded with them a lot, sent emails back and forth. And you know, because by this point, I was just not having any luck with the sizing on these Japanese raw selvage denims at all. You know, I was I was basically one for three at that point. So, so I talked to them, and they said, "Hey, you know your measurements. You just measured yourself. You should be confident in yourself. You're confident that those will fit you. We'll send them to you. If they don't." We're constantly getting new batches in. We'll just send you another pair. It's no problem. So they were real cool about it, and I liked that. So I went ahead and I ordered those. They came, and oh, they fit. They fit perfectly. They fit, they fit in fact, very generously, the 34s. Um, I, I definitely didn't want to size down. I felt like the 34 was a great fit. Now, one thing I'll, I'll, I'll mention was these are were originally on the, it's called the natural tapered fit which I eventually had altered because I later discovered that my ideal leg opening was 14 inches. And these were, these were a, a quite a bit wider. I'll, I'll include pictures of before when I had, prior to getting these tapered, they, they were substantially wider. They were actually pretty roomy all throughout. One of the roomier pairs of denims that I had. So I took them to my favorite tailor and uh, he's, he's a master tailor. So I, I took, took these to him. He just did a perfect job on them. I was real happy with how they turned out. And uh, I'll actually throw those on so you can see how they fit. All right, real quick, I just wanna give a shot of these, uh, the, the selvage stitching there. You'll notice that that's in a nice shade of pink. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's not to be girly or anything, that's actually to symbolize the, uh, the peach in the Momotaro story, which is really cool. I hope that the camera could capture just the dense, the, the dense texture of this and and also you, you can maybe see some of the uh, it's called slubbiness it's almost like a hairiness that the denim has when they're when they're slubby <laughs> so that's pretty cool this is my only pair that's really that's really slubby and uh, I really enjoy wearing these obviously I don't I don't wear these in any sort of uh, dressy setting these are strictly casual denim mainly because of those battle stripes. You know, I, I definitely wouldn't try to dress these up just because, uh, you know, I'll admit, I owned a pair of buckled jeans once and it had all the flare on the, on the back jean pockets. And, and so I was always hesitant to go that route again, you know, and get something with graphics printed on the back. But it's got a subtlety to it, which, which I feel is, is appropriate. So I rock these with, usually with a t-shirt, maybe a Henley, and then my boots, whatever boot, you know, and then my boots, whatever boots I want to wear with these, indies typically, or plain toe boots. You could really do anything you want with that. I just wouldn't do wingtips with these is all, just because wingtips are a little too dressy for these, I think. But yeah, the, these are definitely a, uh, a casual jean. I, I take these on trips where I'm, I'm gonna be dressing casually, maybe, maybe, and, and I'm not shy to like, 
take these on hikes and put these through the ringer because they're just so tough they're so dense and that's what they're meant for I'm not worried about getting these wet I'm not worried about getting dirt on these just because it just adds to the character of these over time I've really enjoyed these a lot would I get these again yes yes I would I think I think they're awesome I had some friends make fun of me because of that you know because of the the battle stripes but when I read the story behind the battle stripes, I was like, it's got a story. I love things with a story. Oh, and I talked about the Momotaro peach there. You can get, maybe get a shot of that there. Yeah, there's the Momotaro peach. All right. Okay. So as you can see here, these are my Momotaro denims on. And uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of what they look like, you know, actually w when worn. Um, um, as you can see, they, they have a real nice, slim silhouette obviously because I had them tailored this way um, the uh, natural taper that I ordered these in was it was a little bit more it was a little bit more generous of a fit um, you can see the, uh, the battle stripes there you know it's like I said it's not too teenagerish it's not too like like uh, flashy or anything I don't think I think it's 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 a subtlety it's it's not overly loud you know, it's there, you notice it. I had one friend make fun of me, he said it looked like I, I brushed up against a freshly painted fence. It, it does fade with time. Oh, I got these from a shop called Blue Owl Workshop in the United States. Um, so this is the 18 ounce Zimbabwe cotton. It's unsanforized selvage denim. Unsanforized means they didn't wash it beforehand. Washing it would have shrunken the denim a little bit and made it a little softer. The best denims I heard were so they sourced the cotton from Africa and then they built the denims in Japan both of my pairs of Japanese denim that were sourced from Africa uh, were are, are very very good quality and so on the blue owl website it says Momotaro's original heavyweight 18 ounce denim is praised for its fading color and character the denim is made entirely from Zimbabwe cotton it features a smooth yet hairy surface the slubbiness so yeah this is the pink this is the pink selvage stitching here one thing i want to show here is uh there was a pink inseam stitch here but my tailor when he tailored these he asked me oh so you want the selvage to show and i said yes so in in choosing the selvage side he actually had to had to remove well he didn't remove it it's still in there but you just can't it's not visible anymore the natural tapered fit is a roomy fit in the top in the top block with a healthy taper from the knee down. The denim has a high rise, roomy thighs, and a strong taper. These were rope dyed with pure indigo to achieve a very dark indigo color. As you can see, they're, these are pretty dark. Indigo leather patch with Momotaro branding. Button fly with custom branded nickel buttons. Custom antique copper rivets with back pocket rivet detail. Chain stitch on hem. Filled belt loops. 100% Zimbabwe cotton and made in Japan. But these are called battle stripes for a reason. It comes from this legend. Um, the peach, the, the pink stitching used throughout on the selvage and on the inseam of these, that symbolizes the peach that Momotaro rode. <laughs> Is Momotaro or Peach Boy, is a popular hero of Japanese folklore originating from Okayama Prefecture. His name translates as Peach Taro, a common Japanese masculine name, and is often translated as Peach Boy. So the story is, according to the present form of the tale dating back to the Edo period, Momotaro came to earth inside a giant peach, which was found floating down a river by an old, childless woman who was washing clothes there. The woman and her husband discovered the child when they tried to open the peach to eat it. The child explained that he had been sent by heaven to be their son. The couple named him Momotaro, from Momo meaning peach and Taro meaning the eldest son in the family. Years later, Momotaro left his parents to fight a band of maraudering oni, which are demons or ogres, on a distant island. En route, Momotaro met and befriended a talking dog, a monkey, and a pheasant, who agreed to help him in his quest. At the island, Momotaro and his animal friends penetrated the demon's fort and beat the band of demons into surrendering. Momotaro and his new friends returned home with the demon's plundered treasure and the demon chief as a captive. 
Momotaro and his family lived comfortably from then on. Momotaro is strongly associated with Okayama, which is the uh, region that these are made in, and his tale may have its origins there. The demon island, Onigashima, of the story is sometimes associated with uh, Meji Megijima, or Mejijima, an island in the Sido Inland Sea near Takamatsu, due to the vast man-made caves found on that island. These battle stripes are, are, are symbolic to what Momotaro wore to fight the demons on that island. So, so that's, why, that's why you get that on the back patch there. <laughs> now I'm going to take a look at why Momotaro jeans named their brand after this. Uh, so I have their, the actual Momotaro website up here, and this is pretty fascinating to read you know, from the source itself. So it says, why are we named Momotaro? It says that Momotaro means peach boy. It's one of, it is a very famous fairy tale in Japan. The legend of Momotaro has been passed down through generations. The legend's origins are said to have come from an Ura legend, which was handed down in Soja City in Okayama. And many places with mysterious histories and culture remain in Okayama. So clearly this is a cool place now that I want to visit. <laughs> um, so maybe one day I can make that happen. <laughs> but until then, I'm just going to enjoy these jeans, and uh, hopefully one day I'll walk the streets in Okayama in these jeans. <laughs> but better start saving for that trip now. <laughs> a story of rejuvenation. Today, many people know Momotaro was born from a peach that came floating down a stream, rolling over and over. However, the popular legend of Momotaro from the early Meiji period was actually a story of rejuvenation. In this version, Momotaro was not born from a peach, but was born to an old couple who ate the floating peach and regained their youth. Um, it's a story of pursuing the dreams. The rejuvenation version of the Legend of Momotaro was a folk tale for adults and was born as a story representing dreams and vitality to expand from a small island nation across the vast ocean. Since ages long past, People have pursued their dreams in Okayama. Momotaro Jeans is also the story of hardworking denim artisans in Okayama pursuing their dreams to deliver real jeans to the world. Now, that is cool. That is basically the definition of cool right there. I mean, like I say, I like things with a story. It doesn't, I mean, you don't get much more of a story than this. This is like as story as a garment can get. Yeah, they were founded in Kojima, Okayama in 2006. So about, as of this recording, about 12 years ago, which is the birthplace of Japanese domestic genes. I did not know that. Those who succeed in life take care of themselves and select only the best quality tools. Now that I really believe in. That, that and that's kind of, the overall message that I'm trying to get at. You know, you tell anybody how much these cost and they will laugh at you, you know. But what they don't realize was all the work that was put into these and how special they are. And and that's that's really what I I aim to sort of spread uh, spread knowledge about is is this is like like they say here, those who succeed in life take care of themselves and select only the best quality tools. And they refer to these genes as the tools. You know, these genes are the tools that are gonna get you through your day and they're gonna be great quality and they're, and they're not just gonna be some pair of genes that you picked up, you know, that were mass produced that, that you don't really care about. No, you care about these. And, and what's so great about these is every time I look down at these or every time I feel these, I'm just reminded of how much I love them. And, and, and I think life really is different when you go around in stuff that you love. Not stuff that you like, but in stuff that you actually love. I love the fit, I love the feel, I love the quality, I love the texture, I love the story behind it, I love the work that was put into it, I love, I love researching about it. But I think, I think when you find things that you truly love, it adds so much to your life, so much quality to your life. Okay, so they say here that quality tools serve as encouragement towards self-betterment and attract good luck and success. Uh, through our Okayama artisan spirit, we understand what denim is to its core and our unwavering commitment to the intricate art of dyeing, weaving, sewing, washing results in the highest quality jeans. In order to make life, living, and the mind richer through jeans, Momotaro Jeans is not just a fashion brand that simply offers 
Cool Trends. We are a real clothing brand to be loved forever. I mean, I don't have to say anything. Okay, so for the enjoyable casual life of young at heart adults, for the artisans of life who march to the beat of their own drum, we offer jeans as real quality tools. Wow. So in the early 1960s, they, de they decided that they would make denim better than those made in America. In a nutshell, what, what ended up happening was uh, the Japanese bought up all the American denim making equipment and they, they brought those to Japan and they really harnessed their craft. And the result is today, if you go to Okayama, if you go to Kojima, you, you tour around there, that, that's known as the denim district. And that's where all the major Japanese denim companies are. And apparently it, that's, a, that's a major tourist destination for, for denim enthusiasts. So one day I would love to go. Like I said, I'm gonna start saving now. That, that's been my review on these Momotaros. I'm gonna sh definitely do a, a follow-up one years down the road when these are really broken in, when these are really faded. But I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a long time before that happens because <laughs> these are so sturdy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you don't think it was too nerdy. Um, and I will see you in my next review. Thanks a lot.